Good morning, everybody. It's oh dark 30 in the morning here. It's just past 5.30 in the morning here in Hawaii on the 5th of November, 2020. This is from ABC News. Take a look at that election map. Now, according to this map, I see at least three states where President Trump has already lost due to election rigging. Three states he's won, but due to the tampering by the Democrats, it shows that he's now lost. I firmly believe he won Michigan, Wisconsin, and Virginia. That's not the end of the election tampering. According to this map from ABC, they also show Pennsylvania as going Democratic. Oops, I think ABC got ahead of itself by saying that Pennsylvania is Democratic because, well, let's take a look at CNN. Look at CNN's banner. Razor thin margin. And under that photo of Trump and Biden, Six states are still in play. Georgia officials are set to speak as just 50,000 votes remain. Now take a look at CNN's election map. They show both Georgia and Pennsylvania as not called yet. Now... They've made up for it in other ways because with ABC, they show that the Republicans are leading in the Senate, 48 to 45. But here on CNN's map, they show it as a dead tie, 47 all. There's a lot of vote rigging that's been going on. Now, normally, Republicans, Democrats... Not a hell of a lot of difference between the two of them. They're both just corporate chills in my mind. I have a general tendency to lean to vote Republican because of the lip service they pay at least towards individual rights. The Dems, well, I think they've gone down the socialist road never to come back take a look i believe this is the last campaign ad that was issued by the harris biden team so there's a big difference between equality and equity equality suggests oh everyone should get the same amount the problem with that not everybody's starting out from the same place so if we're all getting the same amount but you started out back there and i started out over here We can get the same amount, but you're still going to be that far back behind me. It's about giving people the resources and the support they need so that everyone can be on equal footing and then compete on equal footing. Equitable treatment means we all end up at the same place. At the very beginning, they misdefine equality. They give the definition for equity and flip it to mean the definition for equality. Equality does not mean we're all going to end up at the same place. Equality just means that we've got a shot at it. Equity is just the flavor of the day term for socialism. We're all going to wind up at the same place, but we're not going to want to be there. Not any of us. I can guarantee it. You see how on the starting point, they have the one person that the ladder goes all the way down to him, but not on the other guy that's standing below him. And the guy just gives up and you see him hunched over when all of a sudden 
magically the ground rises up. Let's take a more realistic approach to this. Yes, we're not all going to start out at the same place. Some of us are going to be born richer than others. Some of us are going to be born more intelligent. Some of us are going to be born with more drive. Those of us that are richer, more intelligent, or have more drive, we're going to wind up farther up that hill. We're all not going to wind up at the top of the mountain. Good Lord knows I haven't. But I've got a nice view from where I am. I may not be at the top. But I'm satisfied with my lot in life because I've gotten here by my own efforts. No magic ground rising for me. Here was what would really happen in the reality world. You see that guy starting out and the, the, that little rope ladder, that little rope goes all the way down to him but not for the guy on the bottom. Here's what would happen in reality. Say they're both walking along parallel to each other, that one guy higher up, but the one guy on the bottom, he's had to work. He had to climb up just to get to where he is to just below that guy on top. He's already built himself up. Now the guy on top, he grabs that rope and he climbs to the top easily, where you see the guy on the bottom giving up until somebody helps him out. In reality, here's what I've done, and here's probably what you've done too, if you're listening to me. You know what? Screw that son of a bitch. He might have started out higher up on the rung in life than me, but I've worked damn hard to get to where I've gotten, and I've sure passed a few of those bastards along the way, because in order to get to that rope, I didn't wait to be magically lifted. I climbed to his starting point and then I jumped over and grabbed my own rope and because I've already been working out I was able to climb the rope faster than he could I got to where I wanted to go and I'm looking around for my summit and I'm enjoying the view and that guy who started up higher than me because things were given to him. He didn't know how to handle diversity. He's actually far below me. That's the way it is in life. In a perfect world, we all would start off at the same spot. But even in a perfect world, we all wouldn't end up at the same spot. Our differences our different choices in life mean that we're going to wind up on different parts of that mountain. Some of us, those who give up at the very beginning, they're not going to have much of a view. They're just going to be crying at the bottom of the mountain. Those that worked a little bit harder, they've got a better view. They're now picking up a little bit of a breeze. They get a little bit more sunshine. The harder you've worked, to work your way up that mountain, the better the view you've got, and not only the better the view you've got, the more you appreciate it. So even though there are people farther up on the mountain than I am right now, I'm wondering if they're having as good a time as I am.